Welcome back to Set Streets and Eats, guys. I'm Chris Bauer. I am in Newington, Connecticut, in front of another Stu Leonard store. I'm gonna go in and check out this location, check out their animatronics, see what differences they have compared to the other locations. And I hope you guys will join me once again in another Stu Leonard's. Let's go see them. Fresh five, very prominently displayed. Two minutes, almost two minutes to the next show. Choco is again called chocolate milk. It's been three different variations, chocolate, choco, and chocolate milk. These ones use the whole name on all the cartons here. Whole milk, fat-free milk, orange juice, and reduced fat milk. I've only seen one location that actually called one of them skim. So these guys are wearing name tags. We've got Rich, lead singer Rich, he's got a name tag, and then Fat Free does have a skim name tag, and Chocolate Milk does have Choco name tag. But orange juice, oh, Pat Low Fat, reduced fat low milk is Pat Low Fat. I don't see orange juice having a name tag. I'm sure he does though. It's his solo. It's the chick's turn. Now it's the butters. And now the juices. Every single one of these has been unique in some little way. Little tweaks, little tweaks. This one was no different. This was just slightly different enough. Pretty cool. I liked it. Into the vegetable section, which means 
We're looking forward to the Avocado Girls and Chiquita Banana Lady. Let's go find them. She's leaning a little bit. She moves the leg. <laughs> oh, go for it. You're not going to bother me. I'm zoomed in. You're fine. Feel free. Shop away. I can't see you. <laughs> Obviously, we have to see the Avocado Sisters perform. We're Avocados, we're Avocados. We have a song to sing for you. Let's get a moving, let's get a grooving. While you're shopping here at Zeus. We're Avocados, we're Avocados. Avocados good for you. It's fresh and yummy, we'll fill your tummy. <laughs> dun dun dun. I like how each song is customized. We obviously had each one made many years ago at the original location. And each one is built for stews. <clears throat> and they're sung by lovable characters. They have plushies made for a lot of the mascots. The kids clearly love them. It's pretty cool. Lots of bread. The upside down cow. They are nod to the Disney Imagineers. Goofy is flipping for savings. Into the meat section. Oh, they perform here. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your wings. You're gonna get out of them cages. If you're happy and you know it, clap your feathers. Get those chickens. If you're happy and you know it, clap your feathers. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your feathers. If you're happy and you know it's real loud. Show it if you're happy and you know it's squawk real loud. If you're happy and you know it, do a green If you're happy and you know it, do a green If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do a green Very nice. I gotta say, the articulation, the animation of those chickens is actually better than Frizzle's chicken in Pigeon Forge, which is sad because there was clearly a lot more money put into that restaurant than you would think a grocery store up here, but that was very good articulation. Um, and none of those chickens at Frizzle's was that great. Um, I don't know. That was pretty good. Watch your mouth. Hello, cow. Another mascot. The singing cow. How you doing? Clover. 
like somebody ate the rest of her. But I'll bet she was delicious. These are fun displays they have up on top here. Very fun. Ooh. Now, I haven't seen this since the first location I was at. Let's see if she actually works here. She does. There's the speaker. Doesn't look like her mouth works very well. Her eyes work. Her hand works a little bit. She's singing about cheese though. <laughs> She's singing about dairy. Well, that is Miss Diva Cheese. That's interesting. I've only seen her at two locations out of the four so far that I've been to, and they seem to keep having problems with her. I don't know if it's because they had her made certain somewhere and it just wasn't made as good, or I'm not sure why. There seems to always be something wrong. Either the last one was the turntable. Here, the mouth wasn't working. So, interesting. Their hot food always looks delicious. I've actually tried some of it. It is really, really good. But it's also not very cheap. It is $10.99 a pound. And that goes for anything you put in a box. But it is very tasty. Real good. Hmm, so I am up here at the checkout. Where I did not see was Stu's Country Jamboree, which would have been the two-piece band of Bo and Sam is the dog's name, I think. Not 100% sure. But I did not see them at this location. The last location I was at, they were down for maintenance because of the, not maintenance, but they were remodeling the original store. I did not see them here, though. Hmm. I don't know if they just don't have them here or if I'm just missing them. But where they would normally be at the opening of the store, at the beginning of the store, they have the Farm Fresh Five. I guess they don't have them at every store. That's a mummer. The Farm Fresh Five is performing once again on my way out. They perform every five to ten minutes. There's some cool cats. They like to perform. And I got an ice cream for the road. Pistachio. I keep seeing these. I'm going to try it. And it's pretty good. You don't often see pistachio soft serve offered. That's pretty good. Uh, one of the locations had butter pecan. This one didn't, but I'm going to see it again. I know there's two Leonard's. I'm getting that one too. Wow, that's real good. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this stop at another Stu Leonard's. I know I did. I appreciate it. You guys coming by and watching another episode of Set Streets and Eats. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you at the next one. Bye now.